on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Catch. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Have a good, good one. Good night. Bye. 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 Bernie never said there's nothing wrong with people working on themselves. She said majority people don't want to be alone. So I think you kind of took it personal because so you're – What? No, I, think... I, I agree. Oh, That's yeah. I think was saying too. everybody. She's yeah. saying majority – People want to be together. Majority yeah. women want absolutely. to be. Absolutely. But you disagree what with her. Mean, absolutely. You no. literally just went no. on a fucking I minute rant. Why I are you that? What are you talking about, eventually. Bro? But when you, when oh you're, God, bro, first listen of all, to being yourself. in a relationship, no, lady, 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 you're yourself. not listening because Courtney said that and then you went on a rant trying on to a go ten minute rant. what she said. What are you on talking about? On a 10 minute rant, rant because y'all trying to make Can I say, say something? Like, the problem. No, she never, bro, said, you're not bro. listening though. Courtney never said it was a problem. You're not listening. I think I Anton kind of touched on a little bit. I hear echo. I don't know who was finding everybody mute up, but. Um, if a man isn't really that that guy, right? He comes in like being that fifty fifty guy. Like, would that be okay? So, to Anton's point, he's saying that there are some women that are okay with that, right? With just being in, in a fifty fifty, even yeah. even even if it's the the man coming to the situation, or will she eventually? And we can't speak for all because we don't have the data or statistics, but based off our experience and the people we talk to and what we've seen, would you say that that women that some women are okay with that? That most women are okay with that. I think a lot of people go out and date and do all these things, putting out this image of any gender, you know, and then they attract this person and oh my goodness, we're in love, blah, 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 blah. And then Eight years later, they're divorced. My thing is, get with the person, be who you are, and that's the best thing you can do. A lot of people, in my opinion, in my observation, pretend to be these, oh my God, I cook, I clean, I do anything you want. <laughs> and then they're single. And the thing is, why, why would that many women <laughs> that are like that be so single if this is what women, what men want allegedly, um, why? Like it, it's not matching up. Just, so just, just, I agree wholeheartedly. Every, everyone should be who they are. The best way to get the person for you is to be who you are. If you I pretend agree. to be somebody else, you're gonna get somebody for somebody else, and then that relationship is not gonna work. Yeah, I, let me, let I me mean, just add this really quickly. Yeah. Let me just add this really quick. I rock with you, chaotic, but like for me personally, like I don't want my chick not dancing. Part of part of the way in which we operate is that Rita is very very sociable, and she goes out and she interacts with people and she loves people, and she's brought in so much value, even from a financial perspective, um, from a networking mindset and interacting with people. She's brought in so much value into my relationship. I don't want her over there docile. The thing that I always tell Rita, and I've always told her this, and I taught her this since the beginning of time, since I first met her. I say, listen, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to put you in a cage. I'm trying to unleash you. I need to find out what makes you great. What is, what is unique about you, and where are your talents at? And so I found her talents, and I nurtured it. And so the thing that I've always believed is that, um. I'm not focused on the things that I don't necessarily care about you. We can talk about that maybe one or two percent of the time. I'm going to spend the other 98, 98, 99 percent of the time highlighting the things that's awesome about you. And we're going to figure out and we're going to nurture that. So for me, you know, I consider Rita pretty traditional, but Rita has grown into being traditional. That wasn't the person that she was when I first met her. She was born to a single mother, grandmother. She always worked. She had two jobs when I met her. Even she had a job since she was 14, 15 years old, and she's grown into that role based off of her changing needs and the things that she's evolved into in the environment that I subjected her to. So it's not something that I had to find her in, but it's something that we've both grown into because we've nurtured each other's talents and we play off of that instead of trying to figure out what position we, we need to put each other in. Right, and so the difference, the difference between what you, oh, the ahead. difference what, the, the difference between what you're saying and like pick me, like 
the the way that you and your wife move, it was very organic, right? It was natural. Whereas you're talking about these pick me's that's actually trying to force something that's not natural to themselves, right? I think that's dope that y'all organically evolved into this, right? Um, like from my perspective or whatever, like my wife is naturally like she was in house for her parents, right? Like man, they're still married to this day, you know what I'm saying? Um, so like all these tricks that I wanted, that was natural. She didn't have to put on no, she wasn't capping, she wasn't fronting, she wasn't doing it, it was natural. Um, so however, I just want it to be organic. I think Plus we your service. Be- yeah, Plus you're kind of breaking up, uh, Quest. You got uh, yeah, you get, Wi-Fi. But yeah, you got to, that P-Ray. To answer JR's question, he asked the question regarding 50-50, right? So um, in today's time, not everybody's making six figures. Let's be realistic. Um, households are needing two incomes at times. So that's why you have more women working, right? And... So to your question, JR, some women think they go into relationships knowing, hey, I got to get a good job. You know, I got to work. Of course, some women are okay with, might be okay with the 50-50, right? Are you? Aspect of things. If I'm okay with it, no, I've never had a roommate. (laughs) So I've never, even in college. So, but some, so I have clients that are, that they have it set up like that. That's, that's how they have their, their relationship and their marriage. And that's, it works for them. And some people have it where the man's paying all the bills and the, the, the main bills and the women's taking care of the little, the mediocre bills or the man's taking care of everything. Every relationship is different, but there are women out there that are okay with doing the 50, 50. Go ahead. Uh, Kaya, think you want to chime in? You want to say something? I said you came off a of mute. Um, you gotta I, force it. I just you know. no, I'm not forcing it. Right. I just don't. I mean, I don't see how a person could like, and I'm talking about anybody could just be like, "This is what I'm gonna do, and this is how it's gonna be." Like, unless you've been in like a marriage or a relationship leading to marriage, you don't know what you're gonna do. So, like, putting all these parameters, I think sometimes gets like the best people uh, in situations that they don't want to be in. I think that everyone should be open to working with whoever their mate is, that be whatever gender. Um, And it's just, I don't know. I don't even get it. Like, I I don't understand what you're saying right now. I'm sorry. I I can't imagine being like, I have a whole career, but I'm not going to pay a bill. once. (laughs) That's idiotic. I have literally an entire, I, I have two, a multiple degrees and I'm going to be like, well, I just refuse to pay for anything once I get with somebody, even though I've been, what? I don't know. But, but, Kay, but there are women. You know what? I, think, I think that the same I'm, way, like people. I'm trying to figure out how this relates to being a pick me though. Because, because me, this, don't. Whole, this whole like Disney situation where people think a thing is supposed to look a certain way and oh my goodness, if I cook and clean and you know do this and that. But the thing is, you might have all those qualities. You might be beautiful, cooking, cleaning, but you're like, I'm not paying a bill. You're gonna be single. I'm not saying always, but a lot of times, if you're just sitting around with no goals, no hopes and dreams, no aspirations, nothing you're interested in, no personality, like how could, I mean, I guess some men might like that, but hey, Bukhet, I Bukhet. think that's the reason why so, a lot, women, I think wait, that's a, hold things, on, I think that's the reason why a lot of very beautiful women who people see as the perfect mates are very single and unmarried. Because they buy into this whole Disney princess thing. I'm not going to do anything. It's crazy. I totally agree. Because I don't think that that's always going to be the case. When you're in a short, short. when you're in a relationship with a dude that you genuinely rock with, and you support them, and you have your own career, and you're an asset and not a liability, and you don't feel like you need to like. You're not looking to him to see only like, of course, you feel a sense of protection when he's willing to provide. Right. But you're not going to sit there and not do anything because he can provide. 
So I think that's the difference between a pick me that's pretending. I don't think you know. and a pick me that actually supports her man and supports the elevation and supports the legacy building aspect of the relationship. I don't and like the term pick me. I don't right. I don't like that, that shit either. I don't okay. call people that, but like mm -hmm. it's a thing. People think some people think mm -hmm. they have to fit into this mold mm -hmm. to find a man, but then mm -hmm. it's like, come on, look at the historical data, mm -hmm. look at what's going on. Mm -hmm. If you are not with someone mm -hmm. and you're well into your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and beyond, mm -hmm. and you've been following this <laughs> framework, mm -hmm. maybe it's not working. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the people that some people look down on the Cardi B's of the world mm -hmm. are married and doing all these things. It's like just whatever the case may be. <laughs> be yourself. <laughs> be yourself. If you a hoe, be a hoe like Cardi, y'all. If be loud about <laughs> it too. I respect the ones be that are loud yourself. About if you're free. not yourself, you're gonna be free. Someone. Be yourself. Attract some. Be yourself. Be yourself. Because you're if you're not, you're gonna attract someone who likes the mm. fake version of you. Yes. And then when they get to know the real version of you, you're gonna be single again. And then right. it's gonna be cycle after cycle. Mm -hmm. So all I can say you're is- gonna be bitter and mad. That's hey, it. Listen, and, some people, ladies, ladies. Wait, and some people- Hold oh, on, right, let, me, let me see if Kayla, Kayla, you there? Some people being themselves means they're gonna be yes, single. Yes, I'm here. Are oh, you driving? That's, that's what it is. Be yourself I, though. I just, I, just wanna, I just want us to keep that same energy for men who need it, to be the themselves. the same thing. Yeah, yeah. so, so, if, so, so, so if be Cardi, yourself, I hear you, whoever so, you are. Uh, so if the Cardi B's can get wiped up, I'm right put my up, AirPods on. We advocating for that, then the big meat, the big meat. The offsets good. also get husband up. And so do the Whoever, no, apparently, no, no freaking shortage of baby mamas. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let's not do that. Offset I'm just saying. I get husband up. Chicago. <laughs> not only that, not only that, not only oh, wait, wait, on. not only did Hoff, Offset not get husband up, <laughs> there was multiple allegations of infidelity against. Are they married? Him. Are they still married? Yes. Okay. So my so, thing is. Wait. Wait. That, so your point is. So your point is. No. My no. My point is that the best way to get the mate for you is to be yourself. How can anyone argue this? If you're someone different, it's going to eventually come out and you're going to be sitting somewhere upset, disappointed, and doing all types of stuff. Hey, but people got to grow in life, though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but yes, I think what, she, what she's saying, grow, she's saying is it needs to be organic and how they grow. Exactly. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah. Exactly. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, y'all. Courtney, 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 Courtney been patient, y'all. Oh, you heard that. Yeah, uh, and I, the, uh, I, 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 okay, yeah, I understand what Kayla's saying, but I think we're missing another point too. There's a lot of women um, that are single that are doing a lot better as far as themselves and work because of the quality of man that they want. So if I was sitting there 400 pounds, well, the quality of man is going to be different from me losing weight and being 150 pounds. If I wanted to marry, the quality of man is going to be different from me being loud and ratchet than me being quiet and submissive and listening. So me doing, and I'm talking particular about me, me doing work, getting better, getting more in shape, the quality of man that approaches me was completely different than a year ago or a year and a half ago. The type of man that I do want, that I want to be a wife for is that particular quality of man, but I can't get that quality of man until I get myself together. So a lot of times women are single and some women are because they don't want to change a lot of stuff about who they are. We keep speaking, be yourself and be yourself. Well, some, sometimes there's some stuff about yourself that's some on some bullshit and you need to fix and change. Do you think you're single by choice? Yeah, but you, you're doing that organically though. I, 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 I keep like you're, doing so, it, you're doing it. So can hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, single by choice. And hold on, y'all, hold on. Kay had a question for Courtney. So, to so Courtney, Courtney point, like with what, what, what you're saying, is it single by choice? Because a lot of women say that and people discredit them. So based on what you're saying, is it single by choice? Uh, is this a personal question or just in general? 
in general however you want to answer it i i don't think majority of women or majority of men want to be single by choice what that's some bullshit. i'm sorry i'm calling it you, I'm can, calling you it. can call it whatever I hell disagree. you want to call it but i, I think majority of people it. want to be with someone Majority of people want to hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, one at a time. Who, why do you think most people want to be single, lady? I'm just curious. I'm not kill. saying most people want to be single, but I think it's really I I feel like it's crazy that women and even men are quantifying the quality of a woman based on the the proximity to a man. You're drifting. You're Wait, drifting. Right? And I also know I'm not drifting. Hold on, Quest. Hold on, Quest. Yeah, don't shot. Don't. Yeah, we're not gonna drag the whole wine. Lady, thing. lady, my way. Come on, babe. Can I? Can I finish or not? Yeah, I was trying to create space for you to talk. Thank you. Okay. Well, what I'm saying is, it's not about like you can totally be single by choice, and and I feel like it's really sad that people make it seem like being singular in your singleness is not something that some of us want to do like i've literally been doing it i just recently started to even explore allowing other people into my aura sphere like my my energy center like i'm very stingy with my energy because i realized that once you're you're in a relationship like when you're you date intentionally and you're the type of woman to be with men that you are I, I've been in committed relationships, so Lady, I can't. You're talking about you. Okay, you I'm, made a statement, I'm, speaking, though. I'm like, speaking from my anecdotal experience, and there are women that have the same anecdotal experience. So allow me to speak to my experience. Yeah. Is that okay with you, Q? No. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> okay. No, but can you? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't done. I wasn't done. There are people mm -hmm. that genuinely take the time to develop themselves and don't focus on, and they're not codependent and unhealthy and not willing to face themselves before moving on. So there are people that are single by choice. So y'all need to stop making it seem like that's like being in a relationship isn't a prize unless you're showing up as your best self and able to actually contribute and, 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 and be conducive to pro by productivity and like, Actually, an upward progression of a relationship. You know how we know you, Kevin. Lady, but Kevin never said that. Hold on, 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 hold on. You know how we know you, Kevin? What? Because you was trying to get wifed up when you told us previously that you got engaged. The only reason that you left I the relationship. Trying to get wifed up? Yes, you were. And the only that's you, that's you, you of fucking failure. What are you talking about? You don't, don't volunteer the information you previous. Me. That's not something that anyone wants to admit to. What are you talking about right now? Me admitting that I was engaged and not married? How is that me wanting to be wiped up? Give me a break. That's because you're not the point that the point that I'm making is that I was going to spend the rest of my life with and not spending the rest of my life with them. So how was I trying to get wiped up by stating that? Give me a because break. Because the the point no. that I'm making is that you're acting like you're single by choice. I am but for some I reason, I don't believe it don't matter. Based what off you of... I don't care what you or anyone believes because I know what <laughs> I'm saying. That's some my reason point. I don't believe I don't care that you wanted to have a child out of wedlock. A. I didn't. We planned my child, and I was engaged when we planned my child. We planned correct, my... correct, yeah. which means that you was trying to get married, right. That was my second. Which means engagement. that the goal was to get married, and okay, the fact that you're point. not married, and that you had to leave the relationship due to unfortunate circumstances exactly. that you provided us the details for, means that That's you were trying to be in a relationship, and you were not single by choice. It was not your my choice to be choice single. You didn't have now. any other. You that didn't have wasn't any other my choice. choice. Then I don't. I wasn't planning to reproduce out of wedlock. So no, I wasn't single by choice then. I was in a relationship, engaged <laughs> to be married, planned to have a child with Correct. a wedding date planned. After my last engagement, I decided to take time for myself and be single by choice. And now I'm deciding to date because that is my choice. I didn't decide to date before I felt like I was ready for it because I decided to be single and work on myself. So what other narrative are you trying to pin on me? 
Tell I me wasn't that. pinning a narrative. I was okay. actually I'm like to the... trying to trying to pin me in a corner like you always do. What's up? You know, honestly, if you wasn't drunk, I would have more. I'm not more drunk. I'm tipsy. I'm nice, but you know what it is. I'm typically reserved, but I do love my wine because it makes me not give a fuck enough to actually speak up. So what else you gotta say? I'm here for that shit. Can I go back to, you know, I go back to Courtney's the point? The fuck here for that shit. Absolutely. Thank you. Can I go back to Courtney's right. point? Courtney never said there was there's nothing Yo, wrong with uh, people working on. I got a show. flight to catch. I'm gonna holler at y'all later. Have a good, good one. Night. Bye. 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 Courtney never said there's nothing wrong with people working on themselves. She said majority people don't want to be alone. So I think you kind of took it personal because so you're – what? No, I, think... I, I agree. Oh, That's yeah. I think was saying to... everybody. Yeah. She's saying majority people want to be together. Majority yeah. Majority women want Absolutely. to be – Absolutely. But you disagree what with her. What do you her? mean? Absolutely. You no. literally just went no. on a fucking – I agree. Aren't I you agree. that? What are you talking about, eventually. bro? Eventually – but when you, when you're, oh God, when you're bro, listen to yourself. In a no, lady, listen lady, to you're yourself. not listening because Courtney said that and then you went on a rant trying on to go a 10 minute rant. What, she said. what are you on talking a 10 about? Minute rant, bro. I to make Can I say something? Like, the problem. Problem. No, she never, bro. you're not listening though. Courtney never said it was a problem. You're not listening. 